Hello everybody. In this video, I want to show you how to use Excel on a real data set. Now to do that, I've pulled up some simple sports stats. These are the lifetime stats of LeBron James, basketball's king. It has some simple information like how many minutes he played each season, the shots made, shots attempted, and then various information on the three twos and one pointers that he took. So what I want to do is I want to use some of the built-in formulations that Excel can use to calculate some new data columns that I have created. So if I want to calculate the efficiency of each shot, that's simply the number of shots made divided by the number of shots attempted. And it gives me this data that says it's about 41% for the year 2003-2004. Now that I have coded that one time and I've coded it with my references, I can grab that little green square and drag down and it will repeat that formulation as many times as I drag down. Now maybe I don't want all these digits on here. I can use this little decimal scooter here to lower my decimal down to say three digits total. I want to do the same thing for my three pointers. Three pointers made divided by three pointers attempted and drag down. Oh, you know what? This one's already formulated as a percentage. I can come up here and I can change what type of a number this is. So I can just say it's a normal number and tell Excel I don't want it to be a percentage. But maybe I do, in fact, want this to be a percentage. I can grab these two cells, these two columns, and change this number to percent. That will change this readout so that instead of reading in a fractional form, it reads in a percentage form. Let's do this for two pointers and one pointers, or free throws and I get some bits of data that I can quickly drag and repeat. And then if I'm so interested, turn these into decimals with one decimal point each. The next thing I want to do is I want to calculate the total number of points that were scored in any particular season. So there's three types of points I can make. I can make three point shots, two point shots, and one point shots. So I'm going to write a formulation that says the number of three pointers that were made times three plus the number of two-pointers that were made, times two, plus the number of one-pointers that were made, and times one, even though I don't really need that, equals 1,654 points for the 2003-2004 season. And then if I repeat that formulation, it will duplicate that same function all the way down. The last thing I have is a more complicated stat. Sports is all about complicated stats these days as we increasingly push ourselves into the data era. An effective field goal percentage is a really common formulation. Don't worry about the formula too much, but it just says the number of field goals that were made, the number of shots that I made, plus the number of three-pointers that I made, times 0.5, because three-pointers are 50% more efficient, and then divided by the number of shots that were attempted. And it gives me a percentage that tries to inform me about how good a player is at shooting a ball into a hoop. Now down here, I have these rows for totals and averages. Let's say I want to sum together and get the lifetime stat for every single value. I can use the, uh, the built-in function sum to do this. So equals sum open bracket and select all of the data from this B row and close so that it says what is the total of everything between B2 and B18. Well it tells me, and I don't want any decimal here, I'm going to drop back on that, it tells me that LeBron James has played 1,265 games. I can repeat this formulation over and over and over again by grabbing, again, I grab that little green square and I drag to the right. Then it repeats it and it says, here, this one sums everything from C2 to C18. That's all the minutes. He's played 48,000 minutes of basketball, all the shots, all the shot attempts. It doesn't really make sense to add together a bunch of percentages. So I'm going to delete these particular, delete these particular cells here. And there we go. I have all of the lifetime two-pointers, three-pointers, etc. The last thing I want to do is use the averages function to figure out the average efficiency in any particular season. So equals average open bracket. And I want the average number of games that he played in any particular season, B2 to B18. And this says, a little too many digits here, this says that on average he would have played about 74.4 games in that 82 game season. If I drag over, it says he played an average of 2,800 minutes a season. He made about 734 shots a season all the way through. And then again, I'm gonna delete these percentages once. So that I have all this useful information that I can use to make my own assessment about this player. 
Now, you probably don't have a lot of cause to calculate basketball stats, but this is just a database. Anything that I have where I've collected data from the world and I want to calculate, be it scientific data or sports data, accounting data, business data, Excel is the tool that does it for me. All right, I hope you guys learned something.